Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to D Don Kitchen. Today, D Don is back in the kitchen, guys, to show you a quick and easy recipe. Can you raise your hand if you know what? Yeah, you got it right. Pig trotters. In Jamaica, we refer to this as pig trotters. But other places, they call it pig feet. So pig trotters or pig feet with butter bean. Hopefully you enjoy it. But before I begin, if you are new here, hi, welcome. And to all my subscriber, my YouTuber, my supporter, a big, big warm welcome to you all. Big up, big up, big up. So let's get started. Three pounds of pig trotters or pig feet. They said this is three pounds, but to me ain't. It look like two pounds. A can of butter bean. Or you can use a broad bean. But if you're using a broad bean, then like little before it cook, like half an hour, 45 minutes before the pig trotters cook, then you would have to put the broad bean in so it can cook also. One teaspoon all-purpose seasoning. Piece of ginger. Of course, you can cook your pig trotters without the ginger. Three cloves of garlic. Scotch bonnet pepper. You need a pepper in that pig trotters. Some allspice. Pimento seed. One small onion, thyme, freshly green thyme, and two stalks of scallion, half a teaspoon of salt, half of a tomato or salad. If you're using a plump tomato, you can use one. Also, on the ingredient is my green herb I make this green herb I already do a video on it so I'll be using one to two tablespoon of it so if you want to see how it's done I will be linking both of them together and one teaspoon of browning all my herbs it's not a lot of sodium here. The only thing with the sodium, it's all purpose. All of this is a natural seasoning that I'm using, natural herbs. So with the lime, you're gonna squeeze the lime juice on the pig trotters. And we will be rinsing under some cold water. So we got give it like two rents. With the garlic, a quick and easy way to remove the skin from the outside is just press on it. And it just like this. So easy. With the all purpose, you're gonna sprinkle it over on your pig trotters. The fresh thyme, you're just gonna put it on the scallion. I normally love to crush the scallion. You see, you rub that scallion out. The green herb that I told you I made. Just put it over on it. The garlic, 
you're gonna chop your garlic up the onion I'm just gonna slice on the onion green pepper scotch bonnet and remember I told you everything here already rinse on the cold water ginger the pimento seed I'm gonna pound the pimento seed okay the browning one tip one teaspoon Also, I will be using half of the bell pepper. Ring the bell. Bling, bling, bling. Or sweet pepper. And you're going to rub it. Rub all the seasoning in. So, guys, you're watching this video today and you haven't yet subscribed. To D Don Kitchen, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so when D Don is doing a video, you will be the first to know. And like this video, leave a comment, and share. Share the video with a friend, a friend of a friend, and a friend of a friend, a friend, friend, friend. I'm going to cut in with my and we're going to cover and we're going to set aside you want this to marinate at least four hours so we're going to cover it and set it aside it is four hours so what you want to do, you just want to remove all the seasoning from the pig trotters. Let's take all the seasoning off. So we separated the seasoning from the pig trotters or pig feet now. So this is the seasoning and this is our pig. So you just want to pour the pot is heated. So you want to pour a little water in it to hear that sizzle, just like oil. And you put your ginger in and the bay leaf. And now you're just gonna pour the pig trotters in. Along with one cup of water. Stir, I'll fix them properly in the pot. And you're gonna cover I see you back in half an hour time, guys. So it's half an hour. So this is our seasoning that was separated. Now we're gonna add the seasoning in. We're just gonna rinse the bowl with some water. And you're gonna add three to four cup of water in. And you're just gonna stir it around. So we're giving it one more hour. 
So that's one and a half hour. Basically, this take like two hours to cook. So with this water that I put, the four cup of water, it's gonna take it for the next hour. So that's one and a half hour. So see you back in the next hour time. So moving all up, we almost did there, guys. So at this time, we will be adding our butter bean and the sweet pepper. So why you add the butter bean so late? Because the butter bean already cooked. And if you put it in too early, it will all melt out. So we put the sweet pepper in, our bell pepper. And you give it 15 more minutes. And oh, do you know that the pig feet or pig trotters is cooked? You get a fork and you put the fork in. See the fork right here? Let me show you. I don't want to get burned, the fork. The teeth is right there. So the fork go right through. And let me take the next piece up and let you see. So this one just fall back from the fork right off. See? It's not rubbery, it's soft and tender. The next piece, right through. So you know your pig trotters is cooked. So we're just giving it that little extra time now with the butter bean so our gravy can thicken and we are ready. So beautiful, beautiful people. The pig trotters or pig feet. I know this as pig trotters growing up, man. Almost every day was our regular meal. Pig trotters, we go to the restaurant and buy our pig feet. It's now ready. So give it a try, guys. Ain't it looking delicious, mouth watering? I can't talk too long. My belly is crying out. I am hungry. So give it a try, guys. I love you all. I thank you for watching D Dawn Kitchen. Please be safe and let me show you how tender. Look, the fork is right through it. It's so tender. Let me taste it for you. Let me taste for you guys. Mmm. Yeah, it turned up. Thank you all for watching D Dawn Kitchen. Stay tuned. Bye for now. Peace.